Imagine a world without the color blue. For many ancient civilizations, this wasn't just imagination, it was reality. In texts from ancient Greece, China, and Egypt, blue is rarely mentioned, and when it is, it's often confused with black or green. The famous poet Homer described the sea as wine dark, rather than blue, highlighting how differently colors were perceived. Why did this happen? The answer lies in both language and perception. Blue pigments are rare in nature, making it difficult to dye fabrics or create paints with true blue hues. Most ancient societies didn't develop a word for blue until they could produce or trade for blue dyes. Intriguingly, studies suggest that without a word for a color, people find it harder to distinguish it from others. Researchers tested this by showing people colored squares. Those without a word for blue took longer to pick it out, revealing how language shapes what we notice. Ancient Egyptians were among the first to create a blue pigment, Egyptian blue. But for most of the world, blue remained an unseen color for centuries. So next time you admire the sky or the ocean, remember, seeing blue is a relatively modern marvel shaped by culture, language, and the rare gifts of nature.